Hey guys, so in today's Mini Monday episode, I'm going to be sharing how to create this super bright and neon manicure using dip powder from Shameless Nails. So let's get right into the video. Alright, so a few weeks ago, Shameless Nails was kind enough to send over a bunch of dip powders for me to try out. So here is the super sweet little note they left. And here are all of the colors they sent over. I am so incredibly grateful and can't wait to get to playing with these. So here is Thrive in collaboration with Marla Chris, a beautiful flake. Remix, a beautiful magenta purple. Ultraviolet, a blue purple. The base, a darker blue with some shimmer. Body paint, a solid orange. EDM, a beautiful medium blue. The Beat, a really bright coral orange. Glow Stick, a super neon yellow. Lights Out, a dark flake. Pearl, a super light and gentle pink shimmer. The Twins, a blue shimmer. Miami Deco, a really fun glitter mix. Midnight Dip, a beautiful blue shimmer. Passion Fruit, a medium purple glitter. Flamingo, a really bright pinky coral shimmer. Dale, a really fun light green. And Mojito, a turquoise shimmer. So all of those colors were absolutely stunning and I will be sure to leave the link to all of them in my description so you can check them out. And of course, now I'm going to move on to my manicure. So I'm just applying a layer of my Sparkling Co. pH Prep Liquid to dehydrate the nail surface. And then I'm going to follow that with a thin layer of my Mani Boss Peel Base. And this is going to allow for a super easy pop-off removal. So I'm just applying a thin layer of this to all of my nails and then letting it dry completely before moving on. Alright, so for my manicure, I'm going to use Glow Stick from the Rave Collection, and this is a really bright neon yellow. And I will also be using Thrive, and this color is in collaboration with Marla Chris, like I said before. And the proceeds are being donated to PTSD Awareness, which I think is really special. So congrats to Marla on this collaboration, and I definitely recommend you check this color out as well as the others mentioned in this video. So as you saw, those were the two colors swatched together. I think they pair really nicely together. And for my dip application, I will be using my Sparkling Co. Base Liquid, which is one of my favorites. So for this specific manicure, I decided I wanted to do sort of a gradient on one nail and then also just feature the two colors individually. So I did this beautiful yellow shade on my pinky ring middle and thumbnail. And I did two coats on camera, but I actually ended up doing a third off camera just to make it a little bit more opaque since this is a little bit of a sheer color. Um, so I'm going to do that right here. And then I ended up doing three coats of Thrive on my pointer nail. And you probably could have gotten away with two, honestly, but since it is a temperature changer, the lighter color was a little bit sheer in two coats still. So I did a third just to build up that shade. So as you guys can see, I finished up the first coat of this yellow and now I'm going in for the second coat. And the Shameless Nails powder formula is honestly one of the best I've tried. It's so fluffy and you can really see that when I dip into the powder and it goes onto the nails super even and smooth. So I really enjoy this brand and for it being only my second time using their products, I can fully say that I'm in love with how they work and I definitely recommend them to you all. So like I mentioned before, everything I used in this video will be linked below in case you are interested in checking them out. So I will let you guys watch me do the application of Thrive on my pointer nail since it is the same application technique and then I will be back for the next step.
All right, so now I'm moving on to the gradient nail. So for this nail, I'm applying a thin layer of base to the entire surface. And then using an old eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to pick up some of that blue flake. And I'm going to start tapping the powder closest to the free edge. And then once majority of the powder has fallen off the brush, I will move up towards the middle of the nail. And this will create the gradient effect. Now since this is a flake powder, it was a little bit more difficult to get an even blend. And especially considering that I'm going from a super light yellow color to a darker blue, the transition wasn't the smoothest. But I think that since this is sort of a flake powder, it doesn't have to be perfect. And it still turned out really beautiful in the end. So after I was done with the first application of the gradient, I just tapped off any excess. And then I applied another layer of base, and here I'm repeating that exact same process just to build up the color slightly. So then I'm just going to tap off any more. And since I'm fully done with the color application, I'm going to clear encapsulate my nails using Shamelessly Clear. And this is honestly one of my all-time favorite clear powders. It's super comparable to Sparkle & Co. Crystal Clear, and that was my previous go-to. So I definitely recommend this clear powder. It doesn't leave any graininess on the surface of the nails, and it does a really nice job at encapsulating the color. So I'm just applying a thin layer of base to all of my nails, dipping into the clear and then tapping off any excess. And this will just protect the color underneath from filing and make sure I don't ruin the design. And now that all of the powder layers are complete, I'm going to go ahead and activate all of my nails using my Sparkle & Co. Solidify Liquid. And I applied two generous layers of this to all of my nails to fully harden the powder and make it ready for filing. And I let the nails dry for a few minutes or so before I went ahead and filed off camera. And once I was happy with the shaping and thickness of the nails, I'm going to seal them in using my Nail Addict No Wipe Gel Top Coat. So I'm applying a thin, even layer of this gel to all of my nails, wrapping the free edge and then curing for 30 seconds. And I've recently gotten a few comments on why I use gel top coat, and personally I just think it's a little bit easier than dip powder top coat. But if you want to stick with all dip liquids, I do have a dip powder top coat tutorial that I will link in the cards in case you want more information on that specific application. But anyway, I will let you guys watch me finish up the gel, and then I will be right back. After curing, I rehydrated my skin and nails using my Happy Cuticle Co. oil. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create using the Shameless Nails Dip Powder. So I love how these nails look, they are so bright and perfect for summer, and I think this color combination is just perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Mini Monday episode. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.